So this is the Yandex Taxi Comfort. We're gonna get inside, take a ride, and see how it goes. When you open the Yandex Taxi app, you're going to put in the address where you're going to be picked up, and then you can specify an entrance if, it, if a building has multiple entrances. Then you're going to put in your destination, obviously, and then it's going to give you economy, comfort, comfort plus, and business. Those are the main options. So we're going to look here where we're going for about a 12-minute drive. We can see, okay, economy is 246, comfort's just a little bit more. So we're going to go with comfort now. Let's request a ride and see how long it takes. It says about seven minutes for a ride for comfort. It's checking cars nearby. So it found a car, a driver is coming. We're taking a white Cherry Tigo 4 Pro. I don't think I've ever ridden in that. And then the license plates here are 685 and the driver is Xenia. We wanna make sure location services are on so that the driver can see us. So we wait for the driver to come pick us up. Hey everyone, we're in the comfort class of Yandex Taxi. Right away I noticed a bump up from economy because it's nice and clean, it's roomy. They have a list of every car, the type of car that they provide in each class, so you can take a look at that in the app. And usually the driver drives a bit slower, not as stop and go as the economy driver, just because the stop and go, the economy budget is so low that the drivers hurry they hurry to get to the next ride and so they have to make a lot of rides to make money for the day so i generally would say that economy is fine maybe for you know for short drives maybe 15 minutes 30 minutes well 30 minutes probably the kind of that's fine like from the airport or something like that but also there's a safety issue because economy drivers typically not all but typically they drive a little bit faster and kind of try to pass people it's a little bit not as safe as higher options like comfort comfort plus especially you know business for sure generally you should take economy plus or comfort or higher for most westerners expectations and also when you get in a taxi in russia you shouldn't expect the driver to chat you up they usually won't start the conversation so if you want to chat you know it, you kind of are the initiator of the conversation so you you can go ahead and try to practice your Russian. When I start a conversation, conversation, you know, flows. It's a great conversation. But normally it's like, that's the culture. It's just like silence. And that's not, not a big deal uh, in Russia. So if you're working on something, maybe you're sending an email, maybe you're working on your laptop or you're on the phone, you don't really have to worry or feel feel bad about not chatting with the driver that's a big difference between you know the west and, and russia so that's one thing that i really like about it so we're gonna come to our destination here in a bit let's see so we rode about 11 12 minutes down the prospect where i was staying just to take a look at uh, how comfort is and she's been a perfect driver i would say so we'll uh, compare the next one <laughs> Okay guys, so we're getting out of the taxi right now. We went for a nice nice drive. The driver was perfect, very polite. That's why I would recommend generally the comfort plus. Probably would be like, I need to get to the next ride. So she was very, very polite, um, nice roomy vehicle. And um, that's what I would recommend generally. See you on the next one.